why doing the research, I've never had the, the uh, pleasure of seeing Kushida Yushiro live and in person before. So, you know, obviously I went in to do a little bit of research, and the resemblances between him and Tajiri are absolutely phenomenal. And that's actually a common thing in Japanese wrestling. You see a lot of great Muda protégés who really mimic, not, not necessarily always the look, but definitely the movements in the ring. So you see a lot of influences from the trainers, more so than you see from American wrestling. I think it's important to note that, uh, and you make a great point about the great Muda, and certainly we see that now on TNA television with Kiyoshi. Yes, absolutely. Individuals that do something like that, they're not attempting to rip off uh, uh, someone like the great Muda or Tajiri, and it's not a lack of originality. It's a tribute and an homage to someone who's done so much to help their own career. And, and that's a, uh, really indicative of a lot of wrestling, not only Japanese wrestling, also Mexican wrestling. Rey Mysterio Jr. is, you know, we just know him now as Rey Mysterio, but he was Rey Mysterio Jr. and actually the third version of Rey Mysterio in Mexican wrestling. That's something they consider an honor whenever they train somebody to take over, you know, their gimmick and their their style, if you will. Seen a uh, healthy Japanese influence in IWC in the past. A number of IWC stars, uh, IWC stars going to Japan. A number of uh, Japan stars appearing on IWC soil as well. But uh, Utro has the potential to perhaps uh, outshine them all based on his training, based on his credentials. And certainly, you can just see in the body language, you can see the focus. And not a lot known about this man outside of his athletic background, but certainly he does his talking in the ring. Absolutely, and you can see right now that both Jason Gory and Yoshida are just measuring each other. They're trying to get a feel for each other. This is obviously the first time these two have ever met. So, you know, they're kind of feeling each other out right now. We know Jason Gory can fly with the best of them. Now it's just a wonder if is Yoshida going to try to ground him and work him down and punish him with that strong style? Or are we going to see a high-paced, quick matchup? Pace quickens. And certainly this is uh, very tough to determine an advantage based on both these men's styles, but it's Jason Gore with the upper hand at the moment. Hurricane Rana into a part by Yoshida. Great counter. Great taking on his feet, using the momentum of Gore to his own advantage. Here's Yudra. Gore sends the Japanese star to the outside. Gory now trying to get the fans behind him. I think we're going to see him fly here. Gory's measuring his adversary. Out with a helo over the top. A Gory specialty. Welcome to IWC, Mr. Yudra. The crowd's just solidly behind Gory here. And not with a lack of respect. They just don't know a lot about Yushira. Yushida, I'm sorry. Uh, as he rolls him back into the ring, I'm really interested to see what's going to happen here as this match goes on. Gory with the upper hand right now, but for how long? Sheeta rolls out of the ring here, trying to catch his breath, maybe slow down Gory's momentum. Uh, Gory going to uh, give chase to the outside. Then Yudro back into the ring, and Yudro measures Gory, perhaps a bit of a uh, possum being played. Absolutely. You right. can tell him now as, you, as uh, Yoshida rakes the eyes of Gory and tries to take control of this match, but... Check this out, Gory lands on his feet on the apron. Yudro tried to follow through. Springboard drop kick, nicely done, and Gory hits all the way to the outside. Great athleticism shown there by the, the Japanese prodigy. Of the What's that? And a little bit of mocking, apparently. A little attitude there from uh, from, Tajiri, from Tajiri's protege, Yoshida. I mean, Tajiri taught him that. I, I don't think. But mind you, this uh, floor, it's... The protection on the floor is not to protect the wrestlers, it's to protect the floor. So there's nowhere to land that feels good down This is not WWE, this is not TNA. We don't put padding on our floor for the girly men. These, these guys take a bump onto a hard gym floor, a hard cement floor, whatever the surface. The only thing over this is to keep it from getting scratched up. So Gory's feeling the effects of spilling from the top rope, that's for sure. Gory set back into the ring. You notice the... Uh, Japanese flag, a prominent part of uh, Yujiro's attire. Certainly very happy uh, with his uh, upbringing. His from the top with a karate-style chop. Yujiro now going back to the top, it looks like. Playing a little hit and run with Gory here, striking and striking and getting out. Check this for the second time. Measures him right on top of the head. Knows exactly where to place that strike. Danny Moonsault, nicely done. Cover two and no. Yudro, uh, an expert at Moonsaults, has a standard version as well as a corkscrew version uh, that he uh, 
will attempt to employ in this matchup, no doubt. If he does, maybe Night Night Mr. Gory. Well, you really have the master of the moonsault here against the master of the simpon in Gory versus Yujiro. There's not many high fly moves Gory has not mastered, to be perfectly honest. This is true. This is true. Gory going to the top now. Nobody home on the crossbody. You know, one thing that is definitely an international language is wrestling. But cover in the ring, two and up. Well, these two guys could probably never sit down and talk, you know, about their match or, you know, about one another or anything like that. Inside the ring here, it seems like they've been versing each other forever because they're reading their opponent. They, they have the instincts that you just can't, te you know, tell somebody about. Things that you learn from wrestling match after match after match. So let me see a little bit of Tajiri influence there and measures Gore again with a martial arts strike. Is Yujiro a cover? And Steven Coulter again finds five it. minutes gone by five minutes. Actually, in Japan, it's very common for wrestlers to start training around the age of 10 to 12. Whereas here in the States, it, you know, 16 would be the earliest that they would even let somebody into a training academy. 18 being the youngest you could be to even wrestle a match in the state of Pennsylvania, where we presently reside, obviously. So, you know, an experience edge might actually go to Yoshida. Mind you, Gory, a young veteran as well. I believe he has been training since the bright young age of 16. I believe so. He's been in IWC here in, what, 2004, I believe. Right? That's correct, yes. I check out the impact of Jason Gory and a hell of a lot of momentum on his side. Drop kick, and Kushida Ujiro is in trouble. His shoulders are down near fall. Fans go behind Gory here. That offensive burst, that acceleration of Jason Gorey, really uh, changed the tide of this matchup momentarily at least. Gorey keeping the pace alive with a lung blower. And that could be uh, Gorey's opportunity here to capitalize, putting him in place for possibly the, looks like moonsault. Second row moonsault there, that could be it. Shoulders are down and almost a count of three, very close and uh, almost a uh, bit of a uh, Poetic justice from exactly from the Ujiro playbook by Jason Gore. Gore calling for the finish now. It'll be time for trepidation. Gore has a number of high impact maneuvers he likes to utilize. It's Ujiro up and rolls through with the weight, the momentum. Gore though catches him with a fist of the gut there, whip into the rope. Handspring into the back elbow. You see the influence from Yoshihiro Tajiri. Absolutely do. The Insiguri follow through as well has Gory Days hit Gory right on that external occipital protuberance. The cover, shoulders are down and the what? The external occipital protuberance. I've been calling matches for 10 years and that is the first time, Dombrowski, I have ever heard that. And check this out, could be time for a buzzsaw kick. Shades of Tajiri, no, Gory able to duck underneath. Gory keeps himself alive, but now, well, I was about to call a variation of the tarantula, but now goes up with the, uh, the modified chin lock and neck bites. The only disadvantage of this move, and the same thing with what Tajiri used in the tarantula, you only hold it for four seconds, but those four seconds they do an exorbitant amount of damage. Takes out the vertical base. Drop kick right to the side of the head. Steven Coulter is in disbelief of what these two men are taking right now. Cover, this could be, oh no, Gory escapes. And uh, starting to see a bit of frustration here on Kushida Ujira. Fans trying to get behind Gory to get him, give him a little bit of adrenaline here. Gory, no doubt, is the favorite. He's uh, made his way into the hearts of all these fans. This is Ujiro's IWC debut. Yet another debut here tonight. And Gory traps him, drops him, back of the neck. This could be all. This is Gory the toy. Of match that IWC has been accustomed to bringing you the greatest in wrestling action, not only from here in the States, but from all over the world. And Jason Gorey throws to the occasion tonight. A matchup of international proportions is won by Jason Gorey. Getting it back in his winning way, Gorey still can define himself. Now that his ex tag champion partner is an weight champion, so Gorey takes a big time step to doing that right here tonight with a victory over the international renowned. Joe, so, uh, I believe this victory should put Jason Gorey in line to challenge Super Hentai for that Super Indy title. I'd be hard for us not to agree, very true.